Hello there, so in today's video, I am going to be trying out the first three things that are recommended to me in Instagram ads. And I thought this would be quite a relatively easy task because Instagram is always trying to sell me stuff. Sponsored post, ad, more sponsored stuff. Oh, that's a really expensive item that I cannot afford right now. Before I start this video, however, I would just like to mention that the enamel pins, the artist problem enamel pins that I have spent weeks developing are now live. You can now help me fund these. I'm going to be using Indiegogo. These pins are all artist problem pins. So you've got the I can't draw circles pin, the yes, I drew this pin. Then I've got the art block, art block. I like that one. I have the paint water bottle because don't drink your paint water, everyone. Not a good idea. And lastly, I have the no, I won't draw your cat pin. I am not able to make these pins a reality unless I'm able to raise the funds for it. So if you would like to get these pins for yourself, head over to the link I have in the description and let's get started with the actual video now. So three weeks ago, I sat down and I went through Instagram to try and find some sponsored posts that were art related. Okay, so it is currently Tuesday the 29th of May. And I'm about to go onto Instagram to seek out three separate art ads and whatever I come across first I'm just gonna purchase each thing so I'm a bit nervous um, I was scrolling through it took me about five minutes to find the first ad not really that long at all and it was this really cute little bucket that looks like it's leaking and it holds all your art supplies let's see creative pencil holder design floating bucket pen case container ideal accessory um, so I guess I'm going to be purchasing a creative pencil holder. Why not? It says desk bucket, which is what it is. Um, hole, hole, hole in the bucket. Okay, so this is the water part um, that you stick the bucket on to make it look like, oh, it's dripping with water. And here is the bucket. It's actually really small. Like I don't really know how many art supplies I would manage to fit in there. But at the same time, I think it's cuter because it's smaller and it's also, I won't lie, it's not, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite thick and nice quality. Basically the instructions say, you stick the water in the hole. So. That is so cute. That is really cute. I love that. I think it's probably good that it's small because I could just put like my favourite art supplies in it. The next item took me another about 20 to 25 minutes to find. Well, I'm going to just randomly start searching like Michael's. Phones actually kind of listen to you, don't they? So if I say art, so supplies, art, digital, painting, tablets. Really don't want to buy a tablet, so I shouldn't have said that. Until I finally came across this ad with a Crayola crayon falling into the ground and sprouting out nail polish somehow not really sure how that works but sally hansen that is nail polish i kind of want to get these because they're crayola related so is it like art related because it is crayola after all and it is a form of paint so i can just make art with some nail polish it's gonna smell but it's fine I was excited because I found some really pretty colours I thought, you know what, I could probably purchase nail polish and actually wear it once I've used it in the piece. Um, but it turns out, when I went to purchase the colours I wanted, they were all sold out. I did manage to get my hands on the last four colours they had, which were kind of like the colours that no one wants. But as you can see, they're not the greatest colours in the world. Like, I... You know, I really wanted like the pretty spring type colours because I thought that they would be easy to use in an art piece. These, however, are... I mean, I'm not sure about the green, but it might be okay. And lastly, I tried to find my third art related product on Instagram ads. I sat there for about 45 minutes scrolling through when all of a sudden popped up a sponsored video for art snacks. This is art snacks. 
a curated box of unique, high-quality art supplies delivered to your door each and every month. Art Snacks is a great way to discover your unique... So I'm going to buy the Art Snacks uh, box now, so that's good. I was very excited about this because I've never ever ever used an art subscription box before so I thought it was like the perfect opportunity and this is the art snacks box that arrived. Um, this is what I'm most excited for because there's actual art supplies in here. So when you look inside you have, what's this? This is a automatic long point pencil sharpener. It's a pencil sharpener. I'm, oh, it's my favorite color. I've never, I never thought I would be so excited for a pencil sharpener before, but it says art snacks on it. And it's like minty blue green. So I'm happy. We have a little, this is the, the snack part of the art snacks box. This is, okay, please don't be banana because I hate banana. Extra sour, ooh, extra sour. It's bubble gum. Let's try this. It's really sour. Okay, sounds no it's not. I thought it was going, it's not. Oh, I have a sticker. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up these. Ooh, we have a bright orange touch marker. I've never tried one of these markers before, so. Next up I have, whatever this thing is, a retract, a retractable eraser. That's a thing. Oh, <gasps> it's like a pencil. That is a door. How do you put it back in though? Can I put it back? Oh, you push it, you push it. Okay, do that and then it's back in. Have a, a Karen Dash F pencil. I have nothing of nothing of hers whatsoever. So this should be fun. This guy can sketch stuff out with. Um, yeah, I don't, you know what? I don't actually know what I'm gonna make with all of these colors that I've got. And lastly, I have a, oh, is this a fine liner? A Zig Millennium 05 fine line. Oh, this is cool. I've never heard of these before. It's kind of like a micron pen. This is what I got. It was about $23 or $22, something like that, which I don't think is that bad because I think that you've definitely got your money's worth in this box. Let's try and make something with these supplies. So I had a little bit of an accident with the bucket. It was on my chair, um, which is not exactly the best place to put it. And I... I, I may have accidentally sat on it and broken it. So for now, this is just gonna sit there looking cute. Maybe I can still put these in. No, I can't. As you can see, I have some little uh, colors and stuff here in the corner. Cause I was like, what can I make with these colors? And then I came up with an idea. I can make Snow White eating an apple because that's the only idea that I have. Okay, so initially I was talking throughout this entire piece thinking, oh, this would be this would be nice. You know, I'm just gonna talk my way through the supplies. It got boring very fast, and I thought this would be far more interesting if I did an actual voiceover and just cut out all of the boring parts. Um, I spent about 10 minutes talking about a pencil, um, and I feel that only I could do this. And it got to the point where I was like, I'm, I'm edit, edit, like editing this right now and I'm like, this is, this is so boring. People don't want to listen about a pencil for 10 minutes. So, you know, it was a Karen Dash pencil. It was an F pencil. It did its job. End of. Next, I thought I would try out the eraser because it was a very unique way of using one. Um, and I thought it worked really, really well. It had such a nice, like, sharp edge but the trouble is once you've used it a couple of times it loses that edge so it's just kind of like a lump of a razor but you know it was a really good eraser it got rid of the lines very well and i have no complaints there the pencil sharpener was again i'm not going to spend 20 minutes talking about a pencil sharpener because it did it did its job it was nice i spent about 20 minutes trying to get the sketch right and then i decided that i just didn't like it and then ended up flipping it over and then starting again um <laughs> it was getting late at night and i thought to myself i want this to be right but i don't want to spend too much longer on it so i ended up just making it super basic and then i moved on to my nail polish this was my biggest mistake um i really wish that i had not picked nail polish because i wanted to stick to my deal and not use any outside supplies so i didn't use paint brushes i actually used the paintbrush that was a part of the nail polish which was you know it was a wide thick brush so details were 
virtually impossible. Also, I thought it would be cool to kind of mix and blend the colours to make shadows and all that fancy stuff. It's Insta Dry nail polish, which means that it dries very fast and you you can't you can't mix Insta Dry nail polish. I wish I had sort of told myself this sooner, you know. It's it, I wish I'd known this much sooner than I actually did. But you know, I did my best. Got a few little clumps there on the apple and the rest of the the painted stuff. This is beautiful. Look at the texture on that. Oh, loving, loving the apple. But I tried, I really tried. The lips, now don't get me started on the lips. Those look fabulous. I failed miserably with this. Uh, as you can see, not good, not good. Uh, t too small for a big brush, unfortunately. The fine liner did its job as well. I don't really like using fine liners all that much. I like them, but I don't like using them, if that makes sense. They just sort of make my art look cartoony and weird and like I can't seem to use them properly but I'm working on it for sure um, and then lastly I was like okay gonna add the you know the orange I've got the orange strip there and I'd forgotten I hadn't I hadn't used the green for the leaf so I added a little splodge there which was nice um, and I've realized I didn't even talk about the the little touch marker it you know it worked like a it was like a Copic marker, to be honest. It was fine. I, I used it for a little stripe, so I didn't really get a good go with it. But it was good. It was good. And, yeah. No complaints, really. I really enjoyed these supplies. I liked them. Shame about the bucket, though, unfortunately. But still, enjoyed the supplies. 10 out of 10 would recommend trying this out yourself. Just not with nail polish. And, yeah. I enjoyed this. You, you should try it, too. For sure. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I would just quickly like to say that unfortunately this is probably the last time you're going to see this backdrop because I'm moving and my desk is not coming with me which I'm very very sad about but I'm going to be getting a bigger and hopefully better desk in the future. Um, it might be a bit iffy the backdrop for the next few weeks and my video schedule may be a little bit all over the place but I promise I have bigger and better content coming your way once this move is done. So I'm very, very excited for that. Make sure you hit the notification bell on my channel, by the way, so you're notified and don't miss any videos. And please do make sure that you check out my pins. They're, they're almost 100% funded already, which I'm super excited about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your support over the past few weeks. It truly means so much to me. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.